Family and co-workers of Wayne County Sheriff Benny Napoleon gathered today to pray for him to fully recover from coronavirus. Sheriff Napoleon was put on a ventilator on Friday night. His family says he made that decision to allow his body to heal. Victor Williams is live outside the Sheriff's Department downtown. Victor, I know the family wants to put to rest the many rumors about Sheriff Napoleon's condition. Yes, that's right, Steve. Sheriff Napoleon has now been on that ventilator close to 48 hours, and they want to put a few rumors to rest that he is losing his battle with COVID-19. They're saying that that is not the case, and it was a whole lot of people in his corner praying for him. You are our help and our hope. Closing your eyes, you would have thought church was in session on Woodward Avenue as a group of supporters prayed for Sheriff Benny Napoleon in front of the Wayne County Sheriff's Headquarters. He was placed on a respirator Friday night um, to help him with his, what the doctors are calling his work of breathing. Napoleon's daughter Tiffany is more than appreciative of all the support from both those on the force. Would be released upon Sheriff Napoleon. And ordinary people who just want to see the sheriff pull through. I feel the love just from, you know, just from seeing the how many people showed up here today. It shows me that there's so much love and so much support in the community. But apparently Sheriff Napoleon isn't the only one in his family facing a battle with the coronavirus. My grandmother has five children and of her five children, four of them have been affected by COVID-19. Thankfully, the sheriff, his brother and two sisters are on the road to recovery. When I spoke to him, his spirits were, were well, you know. Um, he was standing on his faith. He believed that God could and that God will heal him. And as the numbers continue to rise, loved ones of the sheriff and colleagues alike want you to take the threat of COVID extremely seriously. He was a man that took every precaution possible and it still found him. We need to be very careful. Follow the guidelines that are put in place to keep everybody safe because, you know, they're not to control our lives, but they're to save our lives. And at this point, there's no telling how long the sheriff is going to have to be on those ventilators. But of course, like we've said before, there are so many people who are praying for him that he makes a speedy recovery. Victor Williams, local four. Yeah, you bet, Victor. Thank you.